tear the fucking motor half apart to to get to it. It's pretty badass, dude. Thank you. you saw last episode we got the fuel gauge to work kind of it shows the proper amount of fuel at half and below but anything over half a tank it's showing completely empty so clearly the top half of the meter in the tank is rotted with rust so I have a new fuel sender coming probably later this week so look for that episode for the coolant temp sensor i had to do a little bit of research and find the correct coolant temp sensor because this car has an 86 gmc 350 in it and any 350 from the 50s up until just most recently there's two coolant temp sensors you have one on the intake right next to either on the right side or the left side of the thermostat housing, which we can see right here. And the other one is normally right here between spark plug one and spark plug two on the driver's side. They used, I think, the either the truck manifolds or the original V8 manifolds, I'm not real sure, but there is a Allen head plug screwed into the block right there where the coolant temp sensor would be and it actually is almost butted right up against this header so they didn't use the coolant temp sensor here to power the gauge which is what they should have done this temp sensor powers the gauge this temp sensor usually powers the computer on a throttle body injection or a fuel injected motor but because they couldn't use this one they used this guy here now when the water is pressurizing it'll show temp and then as the water starts to circulate the temp will go down a little bit not that big of a deal at least you have some idea if it overheats that's the most important part the problem was it was this old style coolant temp sensor with a button connector and no matter what i could not find one of these in town i found a couple online i didn't want to order one and it come and be the wrong one or be the wrong temperature sweep it is i want to say 1 8 npt pipe thread and there's this step in the cathode here and that's the way to tell that this is the correct one there was a, a bigger one showing up in the uh parts listings but it would not fit in the intake manifold here the only one i could find is this one with this male tab coming out of it but luckily this worked just fine if you just push the button head style female connector right down onto it, it works just fine this was from o'reilly's part number 2-8335 sender and works great shows the temperature i can see it go up to about midways then when the thermostat opens it'll drop a bit and then it'll go back up to middle but at least i know if it goes over halfway then i can shut the car down and address the overheating situation so that's the coolant temp sensor problem solved on this car finally next will be the fuel sender in the tank which is really easy to get to as you saw in the last video so we're waiting on that to come in the mail and I will put that in another video. I also have a complete Speedo gauge cluster coming in the mail because when I took this one apart to oil and lube the gears for the Speedo needle so that my new cable would work, I didn't want to put in the new cable and shred this gear assembly. Apparently it had already been shredded. So there's a part in there that's a magnetic cup that goes around a wheel that had sheared off of the post and the speedo needle itself was broken into a couple of pieces so i ordered an entire assembly and a new piece of plexi here so we can get rid of these cracks and hopefully the replacement speedo the cup inside is still in one piece 
so I can swap the parts over to this Speedo and then sell what I don't use on eBay as parts. Kind of recoup some of the cost of the parts themselves. But that should fix the Speedo. Then we'll have fuel, temp, and Speedo all operational. Next we'll move on to the heater assembly itself. There's a couple of parts I need to get for this. There's some missing knobs here and a couple of cables I think that need to be purchased and installed to make the heat work. And then that will be pretty much the last thing in here that I need to make work. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out there with your classic car coolant temp sensor or a fuel gauge. Stay tuned for the next episode with the Speedo repair. Like if you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more as soon as they're uploaded. And as always guys, keep on modding.